Hey, Star Wars fans, Black Series collectors. We've got Ayla Secura from Attack of the Clones from the newest wave of the Black Series. This one's come to me very quickly, very nicely packed from the fine, the fine folks over at Angel Grove Collectibles. Um, unfortunately, Australia Post didn't see it as much of an issue because they, you know, the box looked like it was straight out of the start of Ace Ventura Pet Detective. But that's okay. I'm going to open it so it doesn't really matter. I know they tried to, I know they packed it as best they could, but uh, yeah, Australia Post really don't care sometimes. So yeah, number three from Attack of the Clones. So Ayla Secura, a cunning warrior and Jedi Knight during the Rise of the Clone Wars. Ayla fought on many battle battlefields, a master of the emotional detachment necessarily necessary in the Jedi Order. She tries to pass on what she learned. So yeah, really nice picture there of Ayla. And this is, uh, yeah, the, the start of a good stretch of Black Series figures, I think, trying to add to the Jedi Order a little bit more. Some of those iconic Jedi... You know, we've had Plo Koon, we've had Kit Fisto. Get, start getting figures like Ayla Secura here. You know, Luminara, Barasofi, Sacy Teen, Agent Cola, Eve Koth. I don't know, I could, there's a list along my arm of other Jedi figures I'd love to see in the Black Series. But uh, let's take out Ayla Secura and have a good look at this figure. All right, guys, here is Ayla Secura in all her blue skin, Twi'lek glory. She's looking absolutely fantastic. Uh, Accessory-wise, she does come with her lightsaber hilt, which you know, it's 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 a little generic, um, but that's okay. You know, she's opted for simplicity and function over form, but that's okay. That's up to the Jedi. Um, not sure whether this one's been used before. Maybe with the General Grievous, I can't remember. But yeah, that looks to be able to peg onto her belt right there. It's a tight fit, but no, no, it gets in there. That's fine. That's all right. That looks good. So we'll get a look at the head sculpt, which looks really, really nicely done. Yeah, sort of the photo real paint apps looks absolutely amazing. I think she looks really, really nice. So sort of the nice sort of Feminine look to the eyes with the eyelashes being a little bit darker. Nicely painted on eyebrows, they look good. Got a little Twi'lek ears there on the side. I call them ears, I don't know if that's what they are. I guess they're like some sort of sensory gland that's probably the equivalent of a human ear. Then we have her Leku on the back. So a little bit of little bit of dodgy paint um, throughout, but you know, considering that's going to be facing the shelf, it's not, not too much of a problem there for me. I don't really care that much. Um, if I really wanted to, I could fix that up. But, you know, the fact is that it is painted, um, despite being a little sloppy. But, you know, from a distance, you're not going to, you're not going to pick up on that. It's only because I've got the camera really up close. It's uh, the only reason you're really going to notice. I like the sort of leather pattern to her outfit. It looks good as well as the the butt flap i can't think of anything else to call it so <laughs> same with the sort of ornate there on the front flap it's a nice detailing on the uh, shirt looks good and there's something star wars needs to start doing is hands extra hands um it's, it's really something that could, um, you know, really increase value to the line if, if prices are going to continue to just bump up every now and then. Every six months, they seem to be taking a little bit of a jump up. Um, so, yeah, it'd be time to add some extra hands. You know, the moulds are there. You know, just, just got to use them and put them out, and especially with a figure like this where it would be very simple to put a fist or an open palm hand. You know, Marvel has plenty of those assets that they could use. Um just to have a force push hand and and you know it, it i don't think it'd be really breaking the budget would it <laughs> i don't know um obviously the only sort of part here that seems to be reused is probably the legs uh, it's sort of simple pants um and i say that only because they still have the pins in the uh, knee joints there so they have sort of reused an older figure as opposed to giving her um updated legs but i don't recall seeing the boots before um particularly the feet. They seem to be unique to Ayla at this point. Um, 
who knows they could have used it at some point um but i don't have all my collection out at the moment to draw a reference from that so i'll rely on the fine folks in the chat to let me know in the comment section so yeah articulation seems to be pretty good it's got a single we've got the double double ball joint in the neck nothing at the lower neck it's kind of nice i prefer the sort of I prefer the sculpt over function there it still gets enough sort of side to side a little bit up and down movement there it's got the shoulders um no butterfly joints unfortunately but you know she's slender enough that she can probably get the uh lightsabers in one lightsaber in two hands quite easily anyway so that's fine it's a reasonably good angle on the elbows don't need to be any more than that sort of a torso joint there which looks really nice it's sort of sculpted all in there so it's not gonna you're not gonna see like gaps and stuff and then your yeah, usual usual leg articulation all the way down so that's Ayla Secura really really nice looking figure I'm really excited to have this one let's get the uh, lightsaber out and being the lightsaber is quite a solid piece it's gonna fit nicely in her small little hands So yeah, another nice Jedi to the to the ranks. Really nicely done. She looks fantastic. Thanks again, Angel Grove Collectibles, for sending this one out. Um, always a thrill when new figures start rolling in. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Please send down the comments. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you on the next video. Till then, may the force be with you always.